Then we have Robert Rauschenberg. Now, he ushers in a new era of post-war American art in the wake of abstract expressionism. Abstract expressionism is kind of one of those key movements. Everyone is reacting against it or towards it in some way. So we just keep seeing it come up. Now, his approach, along with that of his contemporary Jasper Johns, was sometimes termed neo-dada due to its relation to both the European forebears and the physical gestures of American abstract expressionists. And he creates something called the Combined Works between 1954 and the early 1960s. And these blur the distinction between painting and sculpture as their flat surfaces were augmented with discarded materials and appropriated images. He also works with photography, printmaking, papermaking, and performance. And his non-traditional art practice and creative energy generated an enduring influence that will impact generations of artists as noted by various art historians, uh, one of which, Braden Joseph, will state, Rauschenberg's was a position with which artists across the board were confronted and to which they almost necessarily had to respond. Rauschenberg's work served as a stimulus, an impetus, and at the same time, a challenge. So he creates Monogram. And this is one of those combined works. We see elements of painting and sculpture and a wayward goat. So Monogram belongs to a series of combines that he creates between 1954 and 1964. The term is coined by Rauschenberg. He's combining or merging aspects of painting and sculpture to create something entirely new, a new artistic category. We can't easily categorize it because it breaks the ideas of dimension. Obviously, if it's two-dimensional, it's meant to be a painting. If it's three-dimensional, we would look at it as sculpture. But when you have both, eh, that's where you start running into issues. Now, art critic Leo Steinberg observed that the orientation of the combines challenged the traditional concept of the picture plane as an extension of the viewer's space, providing a window into another reality. That's sort of what paintings have been for so long. It's a window into another reality, except this reality isn't really a window. It's coming out at us. So cubism had that idea of on, in the two-dimensional plane, building things up so they appear to come out towards the viewer instead of receding into space. Rauschenberg is taking that one step further and actually creating that three-dimensional form. Instead, Steinberg argued, a combine is like a tabletop or bulletin board, a receptor surface on which objects are scattered, on which data is entered. Rauschenberg has seen the stuffed Angora goat, the focus of monogram, in the window of a secondhand office furniture store in New York. So he pays $15 for the, this Angora goat. So he's walking down the street. He walks past an office supply store that happens to have a goat in the window. And by the way, that seems rather problematic too. Why does an office supply store have a stuffed goat in the window? But let's leave that aside for a minute. He buys the goat, brings it to his studio, and uses it as the basis of this piece. So he is evolving the piece through various states documented in drawings and photographs that he will take. The title is derived from the, from the union of the goat and the tire, which remains which reminded Rauschenberg of the interweaved letters in a monogram. So what has he done? He's created the canvas, he's created the form, he's taken the goat, he's painted the goat. Uh, poor goat. Um, what you don't know is the goat is alive. I'm just kidding, the goat is not alive. My question is always how he put the tire on, but still, when we look at something like this, it can be really tricky, can't it? Because how do you even begin to deal with this? What sort of conversation does it start? Well, let's start at the beginning. Is it art? Can we consider this art? Well, let's consider the definition of art. 
art can be an expression by the artist, and this is definitely an expression of something. So then where does the conversation go from there? You could focus on the goat. You could focus on the tire. In today's day and age, you could look at this as a statement on the environment, although Rauschenberg would have argued with you on that because that's not the statement he's trying to make. If he's doing something that's meant to be more Dada, more subversive, maybe we read it that way. Maybe it's meant to be something that no one would ever want in their home. Maybe it's meant to subvert the art market, much like Dada did. Perhaps he's trying to make a statement about consumerism. Perhaps he's trying to make a statement about society as a whole, this sort of eclectic idea. Perhaps he's just throwing things together. It's, it's hard to say sometimes exactly what's going on. And this is one of those pieces where the interpretation is very individual. You're going to go down that rabbit hole at some point, but it's just kind of finding the right question to send you in that direction, to send you down the rabbit hole.